been here for five years. Uh, previously, it was at Yonkers Raceway, prior to the uh, Empire Casino going in. And uh, it was there for many years. Um, when they had the uh, casino go in, they didn't have room for it. So uh, we actually uh, were able to accommodate them. And it was a little slow in the beginning and uh, getting the vendors lined up. But uh, by word of mouth and uh, our success, uh, we're drawing great crowds now. Well, it's a first come, first serve um, basis. Uh, generally, we have uh, the si pretty much the same vendors coming back every week. Um, but the procedure would be to uh, get here as early as you can. Generally, people start getting here around 5 o'clock in the morning, on a Sunday morning. And uh, the security spot, the price for the, uh, the, the uh, day is $50 and for this space and ten dollars for a licensing fee for that day right. so it's a total of sixty dollars uh, the benefits um, is actually weather related um, sometimes it's a beautiful day out there and sometimes it's not so uh, you know, generally uh, if it's a beautiful day to have it outdoors it would be ideal naturally if the weather is inclement or, or cold um, to have it outdoors is a little tough on us. Hi, how are you? Fine. I see that you're one of the vendors here. Uh, what is your name? Michael Batista. How long have you been doing this? Uh, 15 years, 20 years, long time. Oh, what kind of items do you sell here? Uh, antique, collectibles, just about everything, useful items. Just yeah. a little bit about everything. The American flag, this is from uh, 1953, I forgot the artist's name. He, he, he had this was on the cover of Time magazine. I thought it was a little free. Had a dog bowl. It's pretty interesting. I see you are patrons here. Did you buy anything today? Did you get a good bargain? That's better to go to the to the Howard store. Normally we have the day of the family, that's the day that like, you can take a couple of hours, uh, do, do something different. Not normally like we know, normally we used to do in the home, stay home. Well, we're a multi-use facility and um, you know, we try to uh, gener generate revenue any way we can um, with the amount of space and, and use of the facility. <laughs> So uh, this is something that um, when the raceway uh, was uh, closing its flea market, we decided to try to accommodate the, uh, the vendors and the customers. And uh, we were able to, it was a little slow in the beginning, but uh, word of mouth really uh, got us to where we are today, where on a good day we're completely booked. And uh, generally uh, for, I'd say, 60% of the of, of the season were booked. Right. So it, it's it's a good uh, revenue producer for us, and uh, certainly it helps the community.